TFNN Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 2 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday, two hours left to go in the trading day, and we got markets up near 5% in positive territory. S&Ps right now up 111 points. That's 4.6% in the green, trading at 25.67. You've got the Dow right now. Dow Jones up 1,010 points, 21,954. NASDAQ up 329 points, trading at 75.31. We'll start things off. We'll start off with a chart of the S&P. You back things up to last night. Things were looking pretty bleak at about midnight Eastern time. 2380 in the S&Ps. Markets down about 3 to 3.5 percent. And we come charging back from that level in the S&Ps. You trade from 2380 up to about 7 a.m. this morning, 2582. That mark is the 5 percent limit in the futures. We stay at that level from about 7 a.m. till the opening bell and talk about a roller coaster in both directions right out of the gate we trade from 2624 down to a low of 2476 you're talking about almost 150 s p points to the downside and then since about noon we go from 2476 when i came on the air we were up about 100 points in the s p from that price level 2460 right now as we back off a bit jumping over to the other markets we'll start things off with the Dow, 22,016. Just at noon, we were trading at 21,244. You're talking about almost 1,000 Dow points. But guess what, folks? Even in the last, since I came on the air at 2 p.m., the Dow just dropped 150 points. NASDAQ 100, since I came on the air at 2 p.m., NASDAQ 100 just dropped, what are we at? 50 points almost. S&Ps as well, just dropped from 2586 to 2570. Crude oil market, $32.24 right now. Gold, quite a pullback from almost 1600 at 9 a.m. We trade down to 1505. You're talking about more than $90 in gold. Gold equities getting hit hard today. On that move, 1524 right now, the price of gold. And the euro US dollar, quite a move in the dollar, the euro 11083. And what else we have coming up? 3 p.m. Eastern Time, one hour from right now, President Trump having a press conference expected to declare a national emergency. Pretty interesting. He's going to come on with a press conference with 60 minutes to go until the trading week ends. We'll see how that hits the market. Stay tuned, folks. Dave White, live at 2 o'clock. Tom O'Brien, live from 3 till 4. We'll be right back.